welcome everyone for the day two. So today I'll be sharing a few of my personal experiences. The main reason I share my personal experiences, as I already mentioned yesterday, was so that you start believing them. Because for many years, uh, I never even thought about angels or I, I never read about angels. But it just happened that they entered into my life. And I have seen so many, we may call it synchronicities or angels help. But I, as I share, you'll understand because every time I encounter such experience, my mind questions, is it real or is it just a coincidence? So, but I used to experiment again and again and again. So every time I experimented, it was coming into reality, whatever that I was asking for, or even more. Then, as I already mentioned yesterday, Patriji asked me to share this wisdom with everyone. And then I started sharing this wisdom from the past few years. Of course, nowadays I'm mainly talking on divine feminine. And as most of you might have attended my life language channelings. So these days, those channelings are coming mainly on divine feminine, where I'm teaching all the divine feminine aspects for mainly for women to come out of their all the gynec issues and to embrace their womanhood. So, but today I'll share some of my experiences and it's I'll also share some of other people's experiences who attended my sessions and who came back to me and who shared their experiences. Sometimes they're unbelievable, but I'll just share them with you all. Please be open. Uh, as I mentioned yesterday, I just read only one book that is Ask Your Guides by Sonia Shakot. She talks about different types of angels in that book. So one is, helper guides or runner guides. So helper guides or runner guides, we can call them when we lose any object or when we are not finding anything. So she simply says, whenever you're not finding anything, you can call them. So after reading that, I thought, let me just experiment. And exactly after one or two days, uh, uh, I was uh, about to go to office and I couldn't find my keys. So for most of the people, this may happen in day-to-day -day lives, exactly when you're about to go out or when you are in a hurry, you may not find your car keys or your bike keys or house keys or even a spectacles or wallet. So most of the times it happens. Every time in, uh, in a session, uh, if I ask this, a lot of people raise their hand. So what I tried is I did an experiment. So I, I asked helper guides on that day. That's a, that was the first time when I did that experiment with the helper guides. So immediately I called them for help. Helper guides, please show me the keys because I, I was in a uh, hurry and uh, my meeting was about to start. I had to catch the train. All these things were there. So please helper guides, uh, help me find my keys. And immediately within, what, not even one minute, my dear friends, I was clearly guided there as if... Um, Someone is really pushing me there. So I went there and I took the keys and I just um, went on time. So it, that was the first time. And then I tried a few more times when my husband couldn't find the spectacles or when we were in rush to go out or something. And then I started sharing this. Because it's all about when we share, if other people are also getting the same experiences, our belief will become more and more stronger. And it will also help other people. So uh, when I shared this, few unbelievable things happened. So I shared this um, to one of my cousin. So she, she wasn't finding her train tickets. So they booked the train tickets about uh, one month before they were going from Hyderabad to Kerala or something. So um, she initially, she didn't believe oh, come on, how can this happen if we call angels? Are they going to come and give us? And she was just uh, laughing at it. And then I told, if you really want it, just give it a try. So, and then she was like, okay, let me give it a try. And um, uh, her 
13 year old daughter she was like uh, uh, yes of course i believe in angels and fairies i have seen some movies and all so i will call them and she was like she called them and uh, just uh, within 10 minutes they have been searching the whole house for more than a week for that tickets it seems and on that day i just happened to go there go to them to visit their house and uh, they told me this and immediately her 13 year old daughter within 10 minutes she found the tickets so and the other incident from vijaywada i took a session in vijaywada and uh, the next day someone called my <clears throat> brother they were asking to talk to me and uh, as soon as i answered the phone she took, she was so excited and she was telling me that ma'am i can't believe this happened so i was searching for this important document some document it seems and she was searching it for years i mean it even it was unbelievable for me as well she told that she was searching it for many years and she couldn't find it and after listening to the session she thought okay maybe all these things will not happen how can angels uh, give uh, the lost things okay let me just give it a try and she asked the angels to show that particular document which she lost about 4 or 5 years back some some years ago and immediately after going uh, to her house she started uh, searching somewhere and she found that particular document and she was so excited i could really feel that in her voice so sometimes even i couldn't believe that she she got that from years ago she she lost the document and the other person i think he is from vijayanagaram or uh, visakhapatnam i did sessions in Vija, uh, visakhapatnam also so he told that he lost his uh, gold chain somewhere and he couldn't find it uh, and he heard this session already he lost that chain like uh, one day before the session and during the session he was like okay let me just give it a try as ma ma pranita ma'am is telling so many examples at that time i was telling other examples but now uh, i'm just sharing these examples so on that day he was like uh, he asked the angels and uh, evening when he was returning home he went to a shop uh, he remembered that yesterday he was there talking with a friend in front of that shop so he went to that shop and as he was buying something from that shop he saw that the shop owner is wearing his chain but initially when he asked he didn't give it it seems he was like no 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 it is my chain he was like no this is my chain i clearly know uh but he wasn't giving it seems then again uh, in the night he did meditation and sending by sending him love and asking the angels next day again he went to the shop owner and he was like uh, i clearly know that this is my chain please give it back and then he gave it back it seems so these are some of the examples about uh, helper guides and runner guides and personally one important thing that i would like to share here one lesson with couple of uh, examples so uh, my husband uh, me and my husband went to a cinema so after the movie we went for shopping so after the whole shop the grocery shopping was done he was about to pay and he couldn't find his wallet the wallet was missing so we didn't know uh, where he left so we were just thinking and uh, he was just searching in the whole shop it was just a small grocery shop so we were just searching there and i i got a feeling that maybe we left it in the cinema theater so uh he went back to the theater and he checked there at the reception if anyone gave a lost wallet so they told that no one gave any lost wallet and um, then we didn't know what to do suddenly he called me and uh, as he told me i asked him can you please check with the reception again if you can go inside the theater it was as if i was guided uh, just go inside the theater and check there and he was like oh how can it be how can it still be there because already the next show has started i like no 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 i'm just uh, feeling this um, so can you please go inside so he checked with the reception and initially they said no but then again uh, uh, they said okay and he went inside the theater and to his amazement 
the whole almost the whole theater was full except for the seats that we sat almost it's not like uh, except for the two seats that we sat and the wallet was still there so he went inside and he picked up the wallet and he came out and as we were thinking what is the lesson so he was just telling that okay maybe my jacket is not uh, very good the pockets are not very good so it is uh, falling out from that pocket i need to change my jacket he told that but he didn't do that again within a week we were traveling through a uh, dealer it's a um, train uh, by a train a local train so we went to his friend's house and we came back so as we came back we were still in the uh, train station and at that time he realized that his wallet is missing again so <laughs> it was like oh can you please ask angels and i'm like i don't know i don't want to call them again and again just for this uh, Uh, i mean he is losing it again and again so i like maybe there is some lesson that you need to learn just think about it then he sat there in meditation and he was like okay maybe i need to change my jacket already they gave me a signal to change my jacket initially and still uh, i found my wallet for the first time maybe uh, i need to change it definitely i'll change it tomorrow once i find my wallet so i asked him please ask angels the same thing communicate the same thing to the universe and angels and ask them for help because he was having very important cards and office cards and all the uh, cards and everything so as we sat there we didn't know what to do because uh, it was very peak time and uh, the all the trains were full we can't go anywhere and we can't ask anyone so we were just sitting there what to do and suddenly i got this feeling like uh, go to that uh, train uh, someone was walking there maybe he's like a train the station master but he was walking there outside holding his um, walkie talkie so we just went to him and we told him that uh, he lost his wallet and he told us just to sit there and we sat there surprisingly the surprising is also a very uh this word that we can use but within 30 minutes we were just sitting there we got our wallet back into our hands so the station master he coordinated with the station masters where uh, i think we went for about from one station to other station where there were eight stations in between eight or 10 stations in between and he coordinated with all the station masters and with the train driver to check if any wallet was missing and within uh, 30 minutes they all coordinated and one lady in one of the stations she gave the wallet to one of the station masters and he gave it to the train driver already the train went uh, train was here so it went to the opposite side again and while it is coming back again the train driver picked up the wallet so again uh, he gave it to us so normally these things doesn't happen it's not like it is normal in london a lot of people they miss their things and it's not really easy to get back them but on that day we were really amazed so thank you angels so but it was a great lesson learned so my dear friends anything that is happening in your life if any pattern is repeating it is not just about asking for help again and again but observe why that pattern is repeating in your life this may be a simple example but in our lives many patterns repeat just think about why it is repeating what is the lesson that you have to learn from that particular uh, situation once you learn that those patterns will not repeat because a lot of people they say that even in our we do a lot of meditation but still these things are happening keep observing be aware of what exactly is happening in your life why are you attracting those situations and again and again what is the lesson that you need to learn that is very important and one other example so uh, as i was mentioning yesterday we were going to italy for a holiday for my birthday so on that day just before packing i was just uh, packing my jewelries so usually um, at that time i used to wear all matching and everything 
So I was just uh, putting some pearls and few other jewelries in a, a bag, in a pouch. So at that time, somewhere I was thinking, oh, I've been using them for so many years. As you know, some jewelries we use for many years, but still they look good and we, we may like them. So the thought, please observe this. The thought that I was thinking was, oh, I have been using these for many years. I wish I had a new one, but I couldn't have time and I couldn't buy anything new. So I was just packing them. And what happened? After getting down in Venice airport, so uh, usually I don't take the pouch out, but on that day in the airport, I took the pouch out for something and I forgot in the airport. And I realized after one hour when we entered the Venice city. So then I was thinking, what is this? I started so excitedly for my holiday. And the first thing that happened was I lost my pouch. Usually I never lose anything. So this is not something usual that happens in my life. Then I was thinking, what is the lesson that I need to learn from this particular situation? Then I remembered the exact words that I was using. That, oh, I have been using the same jewelries for so many years. I wish I, have, I had a new one. So the same thing I share with everyone. Many people, they say that if they are living in an old house or if they're having some old gold or anything, instead of saying that, oh, I have been using this for so many years, ask for a new one. So if you're thinking that if you're not really liking where you're living, or if you're not really liking the old jewelries or old things, whatever it may be, then you lose them because you are not liking them. You are hating them or there's some resi resistance. So the energy that you are sending to those objects, either it may be a house or it may be jewelries or whatever it may be. So if you're sending those non-positive energies, that, oh, I don't like them anymore. I don't want to live, this, live in this house anymore. So I don't like this house. I don't like these jewelries or I don't like this. Instead of that, focus on what you want in your life. If you want new house, focus on that. Instead of saying every time I don't want this house or I don't want this jewelries, I want new jewelries, I want new house. Just focus on that, that, that positive aspects that you want to attract into your life instead of focusing on what you do not want. What you do not want, what will happen? You lose them. So that was a very good lesson learned. And um, the Italian holiday, I could say it as a miraculous Italian holiday. So even it was a very peak season, we couldn't book a room. I'll share this a few of the things very in detail because the whole day, it was amazing. So every time I had this doubt that, okay, this may just be a coincidence, but again and again and again, it is repeating. So I had to believe at one point. So the room booking, we couldn't book a hotel. Me and my husband, we were so busy as we were going on holiday, we had to finish our work. So, and it was very peak season, almost uh, uh, many hotels were booked and uh, it was so expensive, almost like uh, 30,000 to 40,000 uh, per day. Uh, so we thought, okay, let, let's just book a uh, catering, self-catering apartment because uh, we can cook our food as we are vegetarian and vegan. We can't really easily find uh, food outside at that time in 2012. Of course, nowadays veganism has raised and we can find vegans, uh, vegan food everywhere. But at that time, it was not so easy. Uh, so we were thinking of booking a self-catering apartment, but we, we didn't do that. And we thought, okay, let, uh, let's just start on a holiday. We went there. We saw uh, something on the internet. It was a decent sized room, uh, but it was not a self-catering apartment. We thought, okay, let's just take it. We tried calling uh, them because uh, it was from some uh, website. So we tried calling them and she was just talking Italian and we couldn't speak Italian. We thought, okay, let's just go there and see if we can find any other hotel and we can directly check in there. So as we were walking on the Venice streets, I clearly got this 
message or like intuition that I need to, to talk with a stranger. We we're just uh, walking on the street and uh, on the street they were uh, selling some things and a stranger was buying something there. And suddenly this feeling was coming that talk to him, talk to him. I'm like, I don't really talk with strangers. So I was just thinking, uh, I was telling to my husband, I don't know why I'm very strongly getting a feeling to talk to him. And uh, it was like, oh, are you sure? I'm like, yes. So I just went there and uh, I started a conversation. Uh, and then uh, he was so friendly, he was talking. And then I, we told them about the room booking. He spoke with that owner, the lady who couldn't talk um, English. So this person knows English and Italian and he helped us. And then uh, that room was booked from Venice. We had to go to Florence because the uh, room was in Florence. So uh, from Venice, uh, we had to catch a train in, an, in the next one hour. So we were searching for food so, so we could have some food before boarding the train. And we couldn't find anything vegetarian, even the French fries or the potato chips they were taking in the same non-vegetarian oil that they used. So um, we couldn't find anything. We thought at least we'll buy some bread, but we couldn't even find that. Um, and suddenly again, this feeling. So I was just uh, thinking, please, my dear angels, show, show us some good restaurant or some food where we can eat and then we can start in the train. And immediately, just after a few minutes or so, as we were walking in that street, it's, it's a very big street. It's like each street where you have all the food on both the sides. And there was this very narrow lane, alleyway, very narrow lane. And I was getting this feeling to go into that narrow lane where only one person can walk. It was so narrow. And as I told my husband, we'll go there. Like, it is so narrow, I'm sure we'll find something. No, I'm just getting this feeling. Just Let's just try there once. As we entered into that alleyway, we saw a beautiful restaurant. There was no board outside. Nothing was there. Nothing was displayed outside. We just walked in there. And after about three or four minutes walk, we found this restaurant. It looked very cozy and expensive, but we thought, okay, we are so hungry. How much of our expensive it is, we are, we are fine with that. And we went there and there was only two persons, one chef and maybe the owner or the receptionist, someone. So as we went there, we asked them for vegetarian and vegan food and they, they exclusively prepared for us. We ate very happily, it was, we were so satisfied and we were ready to pay whatever it was. But the, finally, when the bill arrived, we were so shocked that it was almost closer to the same Eat Street food. So we were so happy we had that food. And then uh, we went to Florence by train. After getting down in the Florence, it was almost getting dark. And uh, <clears throat> we had to find this room. And the maps were not very accurate. And our phones were almost dying. And on the road, I was just asking, please, my dear angels, we're getting very dark and we had to reach them before the owner sleeps. So as we were walking there, no one was there on the street. So as I was asking the angels, someone uh, came on a bike, a couple came on a bike. And I was thinking, I can't definitely, we can't stop someone on the bike and ask for uh, uh, help with the address or anything right so i was just thinking oh i wish uh, someone can help us and the bike stopped just after about a uh, hundred meters or so so just about few meters and they were parking that is their house and they were parking in the garage and as we walked there they were still there and we asked them for the address and help with the address. And they were like, they kindly offered us to walk with us. Though I was saying, no, just show us. They're like, no, 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 it's absolutely fine. It's a beautiful summer and we don't mind walking with you. And they walked with us till the flat where we were about to take. So they came there and they spoke English. So they spoke with that 
Italian lady. So we finally got the keys. So after they told bye, and we were like, okay, we are so tired. And I already saw in the internet that um, it was just a one room with a double bed. As soon as I opened the door, I could see only a single bed. It was the same room, but only a single bed. And I was a little disappointed. Oh, after a long, tiring day, at least we don't even have a double bed. There's only a single bed. I'm like, okay, that's okay. Anyways, everything went well. So we'll just adjust for this day and we'll see, we'll find something else tomorrow. I was just thinking in that way. And immediately um, after that room, uh, I thought I'll just use the restroom. I opened another door and it led to a beautiful king size bed and a beautiful bedroom with amazing paintings and a sofa bed and everything. I was like really shocked what exactly is happening here. And then I opened another door as I had really used the restroom very urgently. And that was a kitchen with all the white goods and utensils. And the next door was a beautiful garden at the back. I still have all those pictures. So it was such an amazing, I mean, I couldn't believe what was happening. We both were completely amazed. We just wanted to go to the owner, lock her door and ask her, what is it? <laughs> is it? So, but next day, anyways, we asked her and she told that that was the first time she kept that ad on the internet. She didn't know how to use internet. So she just uploaded one picture of the living room and then she didn't know how to upload the next pictures. So she just left it like that because it was just one room, not many people were taking it. Uh, and uh, uh, till then she was renting it out for one month. So she didn't know how much to put it for one day or two days. So it was not even that expensive. So in that way, we really had amazing uh, self-catering apartment as we asked for and everything was going in such an amazing way. So I couldn't believe what was happening. Every moment these things were happening. Again, the next day, um, I forgot to, to buy sh some shampoo and everything. So some, some few things. And as I mentioned, I lost my jewelries as well. So as I was walking, uh, the, the shop was about to close. And I asked my husband, uh, can you please go and get a shampoo? Because that, that's important. At least I can wash my hair. So as he was entering, the guy there was like, sorry, sir, you're not allowed. It's already closed. Only the uh, whoever is inside, they'll come out and will not allow anyone inside. And I was like, oh dear, I, at least I could have <laughs> washed my hair if there's a shampoo. And I was just asking angels. And then within four to five minutes of walk, we found one euro shop. I think nowadays in India, we are having this 100 rupees, 99 rupees shops, right? So in the same way, there's some 99 uh, euro, 99, uh, uh, P uh, shop, 99 paisa, 99, uh, just under one euro. So as we went there, I found the shampoo and I found the exact matching jewelries for my dress. So just for one, one euro. <laughs> so uh, everything was uh, going in such a beautiful way. I really enjoyed the whole of the holiday. And um, even recently, I took a session in Pyramid Valley on angels. And on that day as well, one lady, she entered uh, the session after lunch. And uh, I already started uh, the guided meditation. As yesterday, we were doing the guided meditation with Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. Uh, I, she told me that she entered when I was calling Raphael. And she seemed very tired. But she came there, she was almost 60 plus, maybe 60 plus. So she came there, she sat in meditation. After the meditation, as I was asking for experiences, she was like, oh my God, I can't believe what happened today. She was coming from very long distance, from Andhra, somewhere, to the Pyramid Valley to stay there for about three days. And it seems she was completely dehydrated and uh, she was having a very bad headache in the train. And she didn't know what to do. She was like, let me just go back. I can't manage uh, going till the Pyramid Valley. 
but she was just uh, uh, praying at least she could reach there rest for some time and she could she can go back oh so it seems she was in complete mess uh, she couldn't re really think and she was having very bad headache and the whole body was dehydrated so uh, after coming there after this particular meditation it was just about 10 15 minute meditation and then she was telling that i could clearly see a green light entering into my body and within few minutes i am completely normal i'm feeling so healthy now i can stay here for a week and i can happily meditate and go back she, because she was telling that i'm already 60 plus i don't want to trouble anyone if i am having health issues so i didn't know if i had to stay or go back so she was just thinking all these things so she was like so happy she was telling me that i never ever heard about angels or anything and i even never saw any colors or anything in my meditation this was the first time it happened to me just within few minutes that green color light entered into me and everything is fine i'm normal so that happened recently in pyramid valley so uh, so many such experiences my dear friends and uh, every time uh, people do these meditations or call angels they are coming back with amazing amazing experiences these are only the few of the things that i remember so uh mainly you can ask them for help whenever you need and just one other example i'll just share with this example so one person he came to vijayawada as my session was going on by the end of the session he was there and it seems he came from guntur or somewhere he heard my session online uh and it seems he tried calling angels so he shared this uh, experience um he was driving on on his bike he was going somewhere and in the middle of a night uh the bike stopped somewhere on the road and he couldn't find anyone there so he didn't know what to do and then he was like uh, he was trying to call someone and there was no signal it seems so at that time as uh, he was thinking he just remembered the angels and he invited the angels angels please help me i'm completely stuck here i don't know what to do and within few minutes someone came on a bike and he only stopped by looking at him he offered him help and uh, uh he tied something to his bike and the, the, this the i mean he tied both the bikes and they went to a nearby uh, repair shop and he helped he was there the whole time it seems so it's not just about angels means it's not just about someone uh, supernatural helping you sometimes it could be in human form so for example if you help someone someone may call you angel if i help someone someone may call me an angel angel is is all about helping and guiding you whenever you need just just couple of sentences about auto writing because some of you may not know about auto writing or automatic writing it is also called as automatic writing some may, some of you may not know about auto writing so it is also called as a, a psychography so we have so many things like psychometry where um, one of my teacher in uh, london college of psychics oh yeah london college of psychics i would love to share that ex experience as well but maybe after the meditation so um in the london college of psychics uh, one of the teachers uh, she just asked me for my watch and uh, she took my watch and she was holding the watch and she told my one of my past lives so that is called psychometry just by holding something a hair or a watch or anything we will be able to read the other person even that is there and uh, in india in old movies we see so many things people looking at a water and telling what exactly is happening somewhere uh, and the remote viewing crying and all these things all these things people are practicing maybe in india many of us we forgot but in, in this london college of psychics they have a course for everything they practice they teach and they practice and almost everyone have these abilities we are all psychic by nature 
So we'll be able to connect. Whatever that is of interest to you, you can try that. You don't have to try everything because angels, some people, they may say that, no, I'm not able to connect to angels how much ever I try. And that's okay. You can try something else because one person years ago, he was telling me that I came into meditation and I have been doing meditation for five plus years, but astral travel never happened to me. That is why I'm leaving meditation now. Like, why do you want to have astral travel? Because he says that his, his life is completely transformed after coming into meditation. So the only thing I, I tell to everyone is, maybe that is not required to you in this lifetime. It's okay, you can give it a try. Even the auto writing or even the angels and everything. If you are interested, just learn about it and give it a try if you're interested. It's not that if you're not able to connect to them, if you're not able to do this auto writing, just completely leave this. Always, everything is about learning. So just learn and give it a try. Do, do it as an experiment. And if it is not working, that's okay. That's absolutely fine. Because in life, we have many choices. So auto writing. <clears throat> even I didn't know anything about auto writing. I never even heard about auto writing until 2000, maybe six, seven, around that time. One day in my meditation, my hand started moving and I started writing as I mentioned yesterday. So there were so many things, so many messages that were coming from astral masters, which I couldn't really read. And then I wrote some of the stories, beautiful stories. Even I used to wait, what will happen next? So a lot of people asked me, even I wasn't really sure. I was thinking maybe it is coming from the subconscious mind or maybe uh, it is coming somewhere, I'm creating it. But trust me, my dear friends, I wasn't consciously writing. Though I was writing, I didn't know what was coming. Even I didn't know what the next word was. I was waiting eagerly, what will happen next in that beautiful story. So the auto writing, there can be different types. One thing which will come from your subconscious mind. For example, if there are any inner child issues or any emotional issues that you don't remember from your childhood, if you ask a question about it, and if you write with your left hand or non-dominant hand, first uh, write the question with the dominant hand and write the answer with non-dominant hand, then from your subconscious mind, even if you don't remember any memory, it may tell you the answer that is coming from the subconscious mind. Sometimes, again, in our deeper meditations, we may invite uh, some of the higher beings, astral masters, whoever you are connected to, like Mahavatar Babaji, or uh, anyone that you connect to, you can invite them and you can ask them for a message. So many books have come now, which were written through auto writing, automatic writing. And uh, for me personally, I never used to invite anyone but every time uh, a different master used to come, sometimes the same master, sometimes a different master used to come. But whatever that you have, any questions that you have about your life, you can just ask and see. And you don't have to completely trust, just see the answer. And just check it out if it is making any sense to you. If you think that if you implement it or if you work on it, if it, may, if it will make a difference to your life. So just try those things. So uh, today we'll just take message from angels in this automatic writing. Or if you have any particular question, you can write down that question with your dominant hand and you can write down the answer with non-dominant hand. A lot of people practice this dominant hand and non-dominant hand writing. But for me personally, I've always used the dominant hand. Even you can do that, whatever that comes from inside you. Because a lot of people, they say that, oh, I don't believe, because if they are too intellectual, they may not believe. They'll say that, okay, this is again coming from my mind. I think I am writing it. Even initially, I thought the same thing. For three days, I was just, uh, 
uh, drawing some lines and after three days the words started coming in so even that may happen to you you may just start writing some random things or just drawing some lines or even drawing some beautiful things anything may happen just be open keep your book and pen ready hold your pen and uh, just uh, uh, keep your book and pen ready just by holding it not too tight just uh, very light just hold it like that and put it on the book just just place it on the book just place it on the book i don't know if you can see me yeah just place it on the book and as i guide you into meditation you may just start writing something first check check your pen if it is writing because sometimes uh, it may take uh, uh, because as i'm writing here it's not writing so i had to scribble it first so check it and then put it on the uh, paper and automatically it may start flowing in your meditation it may start flowing and whatever it is coming just let it flow and one time it will stop by itself once it stops keep the pen aside you don't have to again push yourself to write for some people it may it may not move but that's okay for many people it may move but again do not have any fear some of them say that oh my god started moving and i was so fearful so i had to drop my pen so there's nothing to be fearful about so it will just move and you may draw some pictures or you may write some words or just you may scribble something but that's okay because this is the first time that you are writing if you practice it maybe slowly the words may come so you can just give it a try this is just one other thing in um, one other like we have so many different subjects in spirituality this is just one of the subject so if you are interested you can just learn about it and then if you really feel connected you can practice that so we will we'll be calling the angels uh, and then uh, we'll be trying this auto writing thank you all so much i love you all bye